The U.S. Supreme Court heard a case this week from North Carolina about election maps. It's called Moore versus Harper. Moore is House Speaker Tim Moore, but who is Harper? Well, she's not a politician or a lawyer. She's a realtor and activist for fair voting maps. WRL's Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie talked with her today about what it was like to hear her case argued at the nation's highest court. Standing in line. Becky Harper gets a kick out of the media attention this case has brought her. And so there's a lovely piece in Esquire magazine that was published yesterday, and um, he called me a fireball realtor. But the real estate agent from Cary never expected to be in the national spotlight. Harper's been a member of Common Cause for years because of her concerns about gerrymandering. She volunteered to be one of the plaintiffs on a case challenging maps drawn by Republican state lawmakers. It was expected to end at the state Supreme Court in Raleigh, but then lawmakers asked the U.S. Supreme Court to hear it, and the high court agreed. Well, it, it's an honor, and I suppose it'll be the first line in my obituary, but, um, I, you know, it's... It's such an important issue. Harper only found out last week she'd have a seat in the courtroom to hear the arguments in person. Like most people, she's never been to the Supreme Court and wasn't sure what to expect. I have a, a button that I've worn for years that says, end gerrymandering now. And uh, they took that away from me at the security desk. So I was very sorry to lose it. Republican lawmakers argued the U.S. Constitution gives them the power to draw gerrymandered districts and the state courts don't have the authority to stop it. Most legal scholars and experts, even Republicans, weighed in on Harper's side against that idea. Harper wasn't surprised by the bipartisan support. She says gerrymandering shouldn't be a partisan issue. I think we should be able to adopt rules that are fair to both sides. I want an honest competition between the red team and the blue team, the Democrats and the Republicans. Let's let people put their ideas out there and let the people choose. Laura Leslie, WRAL News, Raleigh. We're not expecting a ruling in the case until early next summer. We also spoke with House Speaker Tim Moore on the steps of the Supreme Court on Wednesday. You can find that story and much more about this case at WRL.com. Search for NC Capital.